So in the grand scheme of things, education will be about in, empowering our young adults to be independent learners, to love learning for the sake of learning, to, uh, to be able to sacrifice short-term pleasure for long-term gain, to be able to work with others, motivate others, you know, to be able to communicate ideas. We want all of that for our children. But to start, what we're gonna do first is we wanna make sure that we can compress the time kids spend on these exam-based subjects. Till the governments get rid of them and the time will come very soon, till companies no longer require degrees, which then universities will no longer require students with grades, and we, we, we turn away from these grade-based systems, we might go to portfolio-based systems or experience-based uh, measure, measuring of skill. Till that time, what we can do at least because we have the technology now and it's absolutely possible is to digitize all of our exam-based curriculum so that every child can study from the best of each subject across the world and make it easier, accessible anywhere, cheaper, so that parents can, children can save their time and money and then actually focus on what is possible. It starts off from just admitting and starts from basic changes. You, you enable large changes by starting small. The starting small is we reject the idea that we have to send our kids to these A and O level schools where they sit in classrooms with 150 kids, learn from one teacher, can't ask questions in class, can't be distracted for a second, can't miss a single class because if God forbid they did all of that, they would miss out. We want to move from that to having everybody in this country or the world study from a few best lecturers of maybe physics, maybe economics, maybe chemistry. And this is absolutely possible because for most of our subjects that we study for these exams are lecture based. They aren't engaging. I'm not talking about literature. I'm not talking about sociology, psychology. I'm talking about subjects where hard one data point, science, math. There is no debate about what the kids have to learn. And so what we can do is we can compress this curriculum into video-based work. And what we want schools to understand is that all of this can be done at home in the presence of parents. Kids can watch all these content videos and actually use their time in school to work on problems, apply what they've learned. This is what the flip classroom models look like across the world. Salman Khan from the Khan Academy is, is a big proponent of that. Multiple other teachers across America have already done that. And that's the way forward we feel. The idea that expert knowledge doesn't have to be repeated every day, every hour by a teacher standing on a stage in a classroom or a lecture hall, uh, explaining the same concept multiple times. The best of the best, do it once, lower the cost because they don't have to repeat themselves. My, increase access, everybody in the world can access that. And what you do is then all of that content that they have to learn, practice, all of that they can do in the form of video. And when you come to school, what you do is you spend time on doing things that are important. Maybe practice, maybe work with friends. And this way, every kid can have an individualized learning plan with the teachers in a classroom. So instead of the teacher standing at the start, at, this, at the stage, at the entrance of the class, at the front of the class, the teacher can move around the classroom and enable kids to work on their problems. So basic idea is this, you are assigned homework, not in terms of worksheets and questions, but in terms of videos. Parents can watch those videos at home with you. It becomes transparent, the learning. And when a student sees the video lectures at home in the evening before, comes to class prepared, he can engage better with everybody. And for those who are struggling, can ask individual questions for the teacher as the teacher is moving around the classroom, seeing if everybody gets it. And that's a very basic idea. It's not new. It's been happening for a while now. It's just that enough of us have to adopt it because it actually it helps. It helps our students focus on their problems, saves them time and energy, saves the teacher time also. So the teacher can actually prove to spend that time improving each child's skill their problems, seeing what they can solve. And every child can have this own pace of learning. They can work together, there's collaboration in classrooms.